Hi guys. Welcome back to My Best Medicine. I'm Lisa. And I haven't seen you guys in a while. Oh, I had to take a trip to Michigan. My uncle was really sick. And he since then has passed on. He was a beautiful person. And I don't know where or what we will all do without him. But enough about depressing stuff. On to more happier thoughts because this is my best medicine here to get my head straight. All right, I'm gonna put on some gloves. Today I'm gonna work on just this little tray I got. It's tin. Um, just gonna do like a layer of resin in the bottom of it. I thought I would make a couple of these for my uh, grandbaby shower coming up in October. Um, for some of the shower prizes. Let me make sure you're still in focus. This is my new phone. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna look. But like I didn't tape any of it except for just these spots just so that in case my hands were sticky and resiny, I have a couple spots to touch it. So I did clean it off with um, <coughs> sorry. I cleaned it off with 91% alcohol just so that there wasn't any sticky fingerprints in it. Let me take my glasses off. Uh, today I am using um, a mixture between color art products, resin art, and Lores products. So I am using Brazilian green. Uh, let me go over there and actually show you. So again, it's my new phone, so I don't know what you can see and what you can't. Until we do the video. Alright. So first of all, let me get this resin cup out of your way. See, I already got resin on my gloves. Alright. So, there we go. Brazilian green from resin art which is uh oh come on you used to focus and bring it out some it's a beautiful beautiful hunter green Let me see something. I know I'm going to get resin on my new phone. Let's see if I can change this while we are... Just so that I can show you the color so it'll focus. Yeah, better. Alright, so this is like a beautiful hunter green. This is part of the Diamond Galaxy line. Then I'm going to use Sea Foam. From Resin Art. Beautiful minty cool green. Then I'm going to use Lorez 
sterling silver, which is um, the other two were like powders um, or dry pigments. This is um, Lorez sterling silver. Look at it. I should just watch it lay those lines all day long. Well, we don't have all day, do we? Anyway, that's sterling silver. And that is a paste. And then I'm using Lorez powders. It is called, it's part of their Glitz and Glam. It's called Milky Way and it's got a green, um, green hue, green shimmer sparkle to it. So I thought that that would look good. Let me see how close this phone will let me get. Wow. All right. So that's that. And I'm just going to kind of make a little fun design. So let me zoom you back in. Okay. Alright. So, what I'm going to do now, like I said, these are going to be just quick, easy, I just want to do the bottoms of them. I didn't do anything to them in s except the alcohol. So, I wonder if I should scratch it up a little bit. Um, I just don't want it to pop out. Hang on a minute, guys. I've never done this before, so. Let me just make a few little. scratches in the bottom. Not many, but I just want some sort of a tooth to grab to. You know? Not sure if it's necessary, but safe and sorry I just don't want it to be like okay a fancy little mold flap all right so see I just kind of scratched it a bit all right so I'm gonna start out with just a little bit of clear today's resin that I'm using is my stone coat Connor top I haven't used it in quite a while, so I thought, oh, let me play with some stone coat. Which, I love stone coat. But I'm not a fan of the price. So I have been using KS Art Resin or KS Resin Liquid Art. Which I really haven't noticed a difference because I don't usually work two hours on a piece, you know. Um, where's my little silicone brush? So this would probably be easier. I'm just going to brush this to the edges just so that The edges are or everything is coated. Sorry. Let's 
so I hope you guys have all been good like I said I haven't posted a video in a while I wanted to get one up and I thought you know what I'll just do these little trays for the shower and see how they're gonna work out because if they don't work out with a thin little coat I didn't waste a bunch of money right if they work out and they're pretty that would be fantastic. And shower gifts are usually... I don't know, I just thought it'd be different to have some... Um, Some homemade shower gifts. I thought, let me torch this and get some bubbles out. Just thought some homemade gifts. I'm probably gonna uh, maybe make some jewelry for a couple gifts. Uh, some of the pop socket things. Things like that. That way it's not just like a Um, like a, what are those called? Ugh, my brain's not working. All right, so we're going to go. Now, putting down the clear, this is going to, you know what? I'm going to save just a little bit in case I need it. No, I'm going to go for it. Okay. Let's do Do this next. Right on the edge. Ooh, those are pretty together, huh? I'm going to put this Milky Way in this spot here. And over here. <laughs> These little medicine cups are not hard plastic, so I like using them because I can like squeeze it. So we're going to
I'm getting a squiggly line. I hate when that happens. But it's okay because I'm going to move it all around with my heat gun. All right, let me warm this up a little bit and we will move it around. So there's a little noise warning. Right now I'm just warming it and then it'll move around real good. Okay, so the colors are mixing pretty good. So I think I'm going to just make some designs. And then it's going to give it a 3D effect because I put that layer of clear under it. So when it dries, I don't think my table is level. I swear I put the level on it. I knew I was going to do that. Damn it. I didn't want to get any on the sides. Goofball. I'm just using some <laughs> paper towel with alcohol on it and I just dipped it in there. Ay, ay, ay. Welcome back to Lisa's channel. Where she's crazy and she needs some medicine. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, this is like really pretty. I just want some of this other green right here. I think I have to get some more green out of this little cup. Put it here. Now just around the edges, I'm going to take the other side of this stick and I'm going to do just some little swirls to swirl in that clear. torch it and get the bubbles out. Now 
that was a pretty big bubble. So it left kind of a divot. So I'm just gonna zoom that out. Zoom it out, is that what that's called? Zoom it out? No, it's not what it's called. Uh, delete it. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so when this starts to set up, I'll have to go back in and clean that up. gonna be a pretty little tray huh kind of looks like Christmas ribbon candy <sighs> all right so when you're working with resin pro tip you got resin on your gloves put a couple pairs of gloves on now you have clean hands to touch your camera So I would say I'll take you in for a close-up, but you're kind of close. So I'll just bring it a little bit closer to you. Oh, that sparkle. Whoa. Here. Let me change it. There. That way it'll focus. See all that sparkle from the Diamond Galaxies and then the Milky Way? This does look like Christmas ribbon candy. I think that's really pretty. I would like to get that at the shower. Look at that. Very pretty. All right, let me put this over here. All right, how long we been on? 23 minutes? Okay. Well, um, I have another one of those trays to do. So I will stop this video here and I will mix up, maybe do some blues or some coppers and golds. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks guys, let me know uh, if my camera seems to be better, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, thumbs up. Alright, thanks guys, bye.